Uh, my name is Bruce Connell. I'm the coordinator of the Linguistics and Language Studies program. In a nutshell, linguistics is the scientific study of language. Our program here at Glendon, uh, we follow that tradition. Uh, we have courses that focus on structure of language uh, in various aspects, phonology, morphology, syntax, uh, and also on social sides, sociological sides of language. Many of our courses are offered in uh, English, French, and Spanish. Uh, that's just sort of a fact of being at Glendon. So another way our program differs from other linguistics programs is we have a stream in Romance languages, Romance linguistics, uh, which uh, those languages that are involved from, from Latin, French, Spanish, Italian, uh, Romanian, among several others. Uh, students will look at these, uh, their differences, their similarities, but also their shared history in having developed from Latin. Students in our program have uh, the choice of specializing in language endangerment, in romance linguistics, or in general linguistics, of course. Two of our courses um, deal with Ojibwe language and culture, and in those, students are, are exposed directly to uh, Ojibwe culture. As for international experience, uh, students have the opportunity to do the, their honors degree, if they're doing an honors degree, uh, as an international BA. Uh, so they'll go abroad for that, they'll go abroad for a year. And several students have taken that opportunity. Uh, apart from that, students can do either a semester or a full year abroad while maintaining their, uh, or satisfying their uh, degree requirements here. So in recent years, we've had students go to, uh, in Europe, to Sweden and Finland and France, uh, in Asia, students have gone to Korea, Singapore, and just in the last couple of days I've so spoken with other students, uh, one interested in going to Japan, and another one to go to Spain. For graduate school opportunities, uh, many of our students do go on to, to graduate study in linguistics, and that would be the first choice. Uh, other students, and this is probably the second most popular route, uh, other students will do a master's in health sciences with the name to working in the field of speech and uh, language pathology. Allô, mon nom est Angela. Euh, J'étudie la linguistique et les langues ici à Glendon. Euh, J'ai transféré d'une autre université, donc je suis entre ma troisième et ma quatrième année. Tous les profs de linguistique disent que la linguistique, c'est une science. Donc ça, ça veut dire que tu n'étudies pas juste une langue, tu étudies comment toutes les langues fonctionnent. Donc, par exemple, étudier les sons euh, qu'on produit lorsqu'on parle. Tu peux étudier comment ces sons sont classifiés dans une langue spécifique. Tu peux étudier la syntaxe. Donc, ça, ça veut dire euh, comment, les, comment les phrases sont structurées dans les langues en général. Et tu peux aussi étudier l'histoire des langues, par exemple, ou la sociolinguistique. Donc, comment on parle dépendant de d'où on vient dans un pays, par exemple. Um, et bien sûr, um, ce programme ici à Glendon, tu peux prendre ses cours non seulement en anglais, mais aussi en français ou en espagnol aussi. A course that really stood out to me here at Glendon is the Ojibwe course, Anishinaabe Moen. Um, so it's a course that allows you to like uh, learn a bit about Anishinaabe culture, but also the language. Um, so I took that last year, I took the part one and the part two last year, and it's really unique because not a lot of um, universities offer that kind of Indigenous language course.